Hey everybody, this is Fat Frog, and today in Ark Survival Evolved on my single player, we are going to be chasing and hopefully taming a Deodon. So these are the new pig-like, warthog-like uh, creatures in Ark Survival, and I am pretty interested in taming one up. And we're here in the northern biome, the snow biome, way over here in the upper, let's see, what is that, the northwest corner of the map on the center. And we're out here looking for these guys and I've seen two of them they're pretty low level females um, a 40 and a 20 I'm gonna take a quick look around to see if we've got any others so for taming we've got a little kind of outpost base here with a small taming pen we've used it for taming uh, dire wolves we just lost um, our nice uh, 189 dire wolf that we had just tamed up uh, a couple days ago to this 135 t-rex uh, which we disposed of but let's go and see if we can find one of these guys. Now on the wiki, it doesn't say, oh, my Mesopithecus ended up down here. Let's get him home real quick. It doesn't say on the wiki what they eat, um, other than it's kibble, which is Iguanodon kibble. And I had some Iguanodon kibble, um, but I died and lost it all. So uh, yeah. Um, I actually lost it all uh, when I was killed by a Deodon, and it was right up there, actually, up on the cliff. And I was harvesting some wood from a tree, and right at the edge of the cliff, and it attacked me twice. There's one. Um, and knocked me off the cliff, and there it is, or at least that should be it. It spotted me. So you can pick these up with an Argentavis, obviously. This is a 24 female 25. I'm really curious to trying these out. It's got some special features. Um, I think give it an attack boost. I'll have to double check that. Um, but anyway, so we're going to take this guy up here, this female anyway, this 25. I'm going to drop it off in the taming pen. We're going to try to drop it off at the taming pen. Alright, let's see. Boop! Hopefully it fits. It does. We are going to whistle a passive on these guys so they don't get into a fight. We're going to go get rid of some dire wolves. This is level 70. Don't really want to save it for later. Alright, let's take this guy out. I think I might have to turn down the volume. Hold on a second. Let's turn down the volume of the sound effects. Master volume. Let's turn that down a little bit. We'll save that. And I'll finish off the dire wolf. So hopefully that wasn't too loud for you guys. Um, if we find a high level guy, we'll just dump him off a cliff and save them for later. So we can maybe tame it up. Come on, dude. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Alright, I'm just going to jump off this cliff here. Hopefully the dire wolf won't follow us. Because I ran out of stamina because we are... Still living with the flyer nerf. Now I'm doing my own single player so I could easily um, run a mod to return it to um, return it to normal so it would have uh, better stamina, better speed uh, than it is right now. But I kind of wanted to just play around with this on regular because I know a lot of people have to deal with the vanilla settings on official servers. So let's go and we're going to start with this dart uh, not dart but we're going to start with the crossbow and trank arrows um, because this is a low level guy and we didn't bring a lot of trank darts it got 17 so we're going to just use up all these guys to start out with now they're supposed to eat a lot um so we're going to see just what they eat i'm assuming because most pigs are omnivores that we could pretty much feed them anything and uh, we'll see what happens here so how many arrows do i have left that's the last one let's go with the darts so i'm going to so i'm not really worried like i said about the level of this guy because oh, let's fill up a water jar oh he's down all right so put food in inventory um, I think I got no all my prime meats is spoiled. How about prime meats on you? You are gonna spoil in three minutes. All right, so let's grab all this meat here for this dude. 
And let's see if we can see what it eats. Oh, it's eating the prime meat, right? Yep, we're taming. Okay. So did that Rex get uh, despawned? Hopefully the Rex is still around so we can harvest it for some prime meat. But I think it is despawned or something ate it. Yeah, something ate it. Or it despawned whichever so while this thing is taming up i am just gonna keep an eye out for a nice dire wolf and a better uh deodon and i'm gonna have to clean up this saber tooth so i will be back once we get this guy going all right we're back and we tamed this guy up and he is says no passive healing we've got a whole bunch of dire wolves just spawned in over there uh, by the way, I'm playing on single player here, but you can see there's my buddy Rondo, and uh, we're under attack. So we are going to whistle neutral, and we're kind of glitched out into our, no, our new Diodon. Come on, guys, let's get him. Uh, what are you doing over here? There's some turds. Okay. Um, it's a big spinning battle. This thing is going down real quick. I'm not going to have to worry about it, but I'm worried about its friends. There's still three or four up that way. Okay. So we got those guys out. I flew around for a while. Of course, um, up here in the uh, snowy, arctic-y kind of biome, I've seen a ton of dire wolves, some mammoths, uh, even a giga, but I have not seen another deodon at this time. Um, did I say? Oh, yeah. Rondo was... Uh, uh, we were playing around with a non-dedicated server, and I think we'll probably um, do that again in the future and maybe even have a season based on that. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and give this guy a try, but um, let's see what the stats are real quick here. We've got, um, so we're only level 36, um, we were uh, 25, our health is 1620, um, our stamina is 300, our weight is 448, our melee damage is 155%, and movement speed is 130%. So I think, you know, based on being a level 36, that, that seems like it might be some, you know, fair stats. Poor Rondo, I don't know what the heck, what the heck is going on over there. Um, but I think um, we're going to have to get some terrestrial dinos um, to kind of properly test this out and then go about and see what kind of damage that we can do. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get our no uh, Diodon out of there and tame up some dire wolves and then we can do maybe a proper test of uh, something that's relatively low level. So we shall return. Hi everybody, we're back and we've had several disasters and it's been several hours since I last recorded. Um, our Diodon that we had tamed is dead, killed by another level 135 T-Rex that broke into the base, killed my new uh, dire wolf as well. But we have uh, had some success after wandering around maybe for two hours or so. We finally located some more Diodons and here they are. And we're going to grab one. We're going to find the highest level one. I believe it is this one right here. Yep, level 80. We're going to drag her back to our little outpost base that we have with the taming pen. Now, it's going to be kind of dangerous heading back because there's plenty of dangerous things around here. I have located three gigas and then there's the usual t-rexes the millions of dire wolves and whatnot and with flyer nerf uh, our stamina is absolute garbage so we're probably going to have to set this thing down a couple of times and uh, go from there we will be right back all right we did it we tamed a deodon and oops let's just call him war pig except Oh, and let's check out those stats. Uh, let's see, health is 3,600. We are at a level 115 female, by the way. Uh, stamina is 600. Oxygen, uh, food, yeah. Weight, 552. Five, melee damage, 228%. And movement speed, 138%. I am going to go ahead and give this dude, or uh, lady dude, a little health and a saddle. So let's go and grab our Argentavis and pull her out of here. 
So, there we go. So yeah, it was uh, pretty easy. You know what happens. You shoot uh, Trank arrows into it and uh, drop it in a taming pen, all that good stuff. And now she's tamed up. Uh, we used a little bit of prime meat and mostly just regular meat because it eats so fast and so much. Uh, like I said, you can uh, use iguanodon kibble and I'm kind of guessing that you might need a lot of it. It's not in the wiki yet, but um, if you're watching this a little later, then... Uh, then yeah, so we've got a little bit of uh, direwolf attack here. Uh, these guys made quick work of that. I got these couple of mammoths tamed up too during uh, all this waiting because I think we needed a little muscle around here in case we get attacked by another T-Rex, which I'm sure is going to happen at some point unless I build a fence, which might actually be a pretty good idea, but this is just sort of a little outpost. And uh, yes, yeah, so we need a little muscle and also come in very handy for collecting wood and uh, wood, I think thatch they collect as well and definitely berries. Um, and we need a lot of narco berries um, to get going up here since we lost everything when we died. We had lots of trank darts. Now we're down to seven. You know what I mean. So anyway, we're going to go and take out our war pig after we get these guys up here and why one thing if you do build up here um, don't keep your land dinos on this area because they will oops I forgot that he was following me because they will glitch through and fall down so I'm on single player and I did a little trick um, in order to rescue those guys and uh, I did a video on that and uh, I'll try to remember to post that uh, link to that video so here we go we got wolf here where's our other wolf all right so we're gonna go try this guy out so I believe this guy oh he does jump all right so let's try him out we got a jump attack it does not harvest the berries did it harvest wood I think so no um, let's see it's eating like mad and it needs oh, I guess pump its health a little bit more and it needs a lot of food in order to do its thing now we have the food consumption turned up a little bit because it makes taming go faster and if I use this guy very much we're definitely gonna have to set that to just the old standard uh, vanilla settings um, let's rob food from you guys to feed our war pig sorry dudes don't need that stuff. Uh, where's our other wolf? Yeah. So we got a mate pair, a mate boosted pair rather. Um, some wolves here. We got a 214 and a 181. So we should be in pretty good shape. And food is disappearing quickly. So let's go get into a battle. All right. We do have quite a bit of health with this guy. All right, so now we're gonna try our dude. All right, he's supposedly having some passing healing effects on these guys right now. Take them out, boys and girls. All right, now we got a we got a Argentavis in the wall. Oh, nice work, guys. Nice work indeed. All right, let's take this dude out. All right, not enough food to continue healing. All right. Get this Argentavis. Sweet. All right. So let's take a quick peek at our guys here. And so healing is pretty far down. Well, let's take this food and put it in our pig. All right. So let's transfer this food in here real quick so he'll have something to eat. Now we're going to do this, and then we'll take a peek at the health and see if it's going up any further faster it seems to be going up a little bit faster maybe it stopped here hold on a sec maybe it stopped enable passive heat passive healing all right let's take a look whoops let's take a look now maybe faster i'm not sure all right now let's do this click here doesn't have enough food for healing. What? How can you not have enough food for healing? What kind of food do you need, dude? Give your healing. 
You don't have enough. Oh, I don't have enough food. I don't have enough food for healing. Maybe I'm the one getting healed. Hold on. Your dude is consuming extra food to heal your allies. Okay. Hmm. This is curious. I'm not sure how this works. No, get on board. Maybe you have to be riding it. You don't have enough food to use for healing. Well, this is weird. I don't really get this. I'm not sure if we're having any passive healing effects at all. So let's go... Let's go try a couple different things. We'll go ahead and get some... Oh, there's another do Diodon. Am I saying that right? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, there's two of them. I'm just kind of curious what levels we're talking about. 50... There's one over there getting its butt kicked and a five. Hmm. All right. Oh, let's see what if there's anything interesting we can harvest out of these guys. That five's definitely going to die any second. It is dead. No! Oh, they ate it. Left some stuff behind. I'll take the trank arrow. Nice work, guys. Man, that guy is a pig. Look at him go. So he eats a ton, but it doesn't seem to have any effect on the uh, the actual healing process. Oh, there's another guy. So all of a sudden, there are all kinds of spawns over here. It's a level 10. Come on, guys. Let's go get them. We all need levels. War pig. Oh, see, he's boosting something. That's a different kind of boost. All right, so I'm given a boost. Huh. Weird. This is weird. I like how his tail goes up like that. Interesting. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the wiki has some uh, more stuff to report here, but I am not... Uh, I'm not seeing how it gives the boost, or if it ha is giving a boost, it is relatively small. Of course, any boost is, uh, is appreciated for healing. So, no passive healing. Enable passive heal... No. E. Enable passive healing. Passive healing. Let's just check this again. Hmm. Maybe you need to, you know, the more pigs you run with, the better off you are. We could try that as well. Um, let's add more health to you, because you are just going to disable... Huh. Oops. Uh, resume. Back. And, yeah. All right. So we'll do a Well, there he goes. Passive healing is in effect. Now, is it just doing it in bursts or something? I don't know. Very weird. What level are you, dude? 145. I'd tame you if I had time or a reason. <laughs> so passive healing is doing stuff. Are you passively healing? I bet you you're passively healing, because I just pumped your levels a whole bunch. Uh, no, I don't want to mess with that 145 mammoth. This is weird. I don't get it. What the hell is this? Drop? Yeah, cool. I'm going to go take out... I'm going to try and take out this mammoth over here. Right. Are we determined this is like a high level, guys? It's the 15 and uh, what's that one? 130. I don't know. Let's try to take out this guy and then run away. We seem to have enough stamina. Consuming extra food to heal your allies. So did we take damage? Alright. So that is healing pretty darn quickly, right? No passive healing. Enable passive healing. And... I think it's going up pretty darn fast. When we enable passive healing on this, so okay, so we enable passive healing 
on our guy, our guy heals very fast. I think active healing heals me. Maybe not our dinos. I'm not sure. So anyway, we've uh, probably played around enough with this for today. I think if uh, you guys are having more success than I am, please post a comment below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I enjoyed making it, even though I died a bunch and also lost a lot of animals and stuff. It was kind of fun. So, uh, yeah, uh, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.